Have you ever had a love, a love that you really cared about? Have you ever had a dream, a dream, a dream that won't come true? Seems the heavens don't hear me. We, we grew up in L.A. and there was art everywhere. Then moved, moved to Oregon and I didn't see anything. And that's, I never did it while I was down there as much, but over here I just, like I seen it so much and I didn't see it anywhere that I it made me do more and more and more because I wanted to see art somewhere, you know? So I started doing canvases and all this other stuff, so. I, I honestly started copying the little uh, characters on the cereal boxes. I started seeing the little like cartoons and I was like, you know what, I wanna I wanted see if I can draw that little cartoon on the cereal box and that's that's how I started developing my art skills. I just feel like I have it in me and because uh, I've seen it so much you know it's it's just there you know so and then also I do a lot of like cultural stuff so that inspires me to do stuff like that like social change type of stuff um, revolutionary stuff like that's the kind of stuff that I like like with a with a message to it. And I got inspired um, from watching him draw. Um, you know, when I was young, I started seeing all his hand drawings on paper, and honestly, that's where my inspiration came from. And even though we have different styles, uh, you know, I definitely know where he's coming from, and I'm sure he knows where I'm coming from too. So this is Project Space, and um, it's a very experimental space. And we bring community, we bring artists, and we wanted to bring youth. So they invited Luz to come in and do some sort of experimental and creative piece. Um, what we call this um, event was um, Corazón Artístico, or Artistic Heart, which we thought, why not bring art that comes from your heart that. Um, expresses completely who you are and who you are is also cultural. So we have a lot of cultural art, um, a lot of experimental um, graphic design art and also um, we have some art for kindergartners. So that's amazing for us because they're starting to, to showcase and their talent. This is the second time that we work with Project Space. We did last year as a collaboration with other artists and this year uh, the space was dedicated only for you. So it seems like this is going to be a continuing work. Uh, so hopefully the community keeps supporting us and that we can keep uh, continuing doing um, Project Space every year and um, bring you guys some um, cultural and artistic art.